learning outcome number two compare the different categories of collaboration system collaboration involve a shared participation in business processes such as workflow in which knowledge is a hard coded as a rules this is beneficial in terms of improving the automation and the routing of the information inside and outside of the organization there are four types of collaboration system number one knowledge management system number two content management system number three is workflow management system and number four is groupware system we are going to discuss it more details number one is knowledge management system kms supports the capturing organization and dissemination of knowledge throughout an organization it is up to the organization to determine what information that qualifies as a knowledge among the employees in the organization in general knowledge knowledge are divided into two explicit and tacit knowledge explicit knowledge consists of anything that can be documented achieved and codified often with the help of it examples of explicit knowledge are assets such as patents trademarks business plans marketing research and etc number two number two is tacit knowledge is the knowledge contained in the people's head examples like the working skill that one can have in the organization so the challenges inherent in a tacit knowledge is to figure out how this knowledge in the people's head can be recognized generate share and also manage the organizations the two best practice of organization to transfer the tacit knowledge is one is through shadowing number two is a joint problem solving number one is shadowing means that a less experienced employees observe more experienced employees to learn how they are more experienced counterparts approach with their works and number two is joint problem solving ask both the new and old employees a novice and expert to work together in the project so that they can exchange knowledge between the new employees with the old employees then collaboration system number two is content management system a content management system provides a tools to manage the creation, storage, editing and publication of information in the collaborative environment. There are three types of CMS. Number one is document management system supports the electronic capturing, storage, distribution and achievable and accessing of documents. Number two, digital asset management system, DAM similar to DMS but it generally works with the binary rather than the text file such as a multimedia file types like the video and audio. Number 3 is web content management system adds, adds an additional layer to the document and digital assets management that enables publishing content both to intranets and to the public websites proceed with collaboration system number three workflow workflow management system workflow defines as all the steps or business rules from beginning to end required for a business process therefore workflow management system facilitate the automation and management of business processes and control the movement of work through the business process there are two types of WMS number one is messaging based workflow system where members in organization send work assignment through an email system number two is database workflow system where employees store all the documents and relevant information in a central location in the system and automatically ask the team members to access the document when it is turned to edit the document meaning to say that all information is stored in in the database in the organization and last but not least the fourth uh, collaboration system named a groupware system it is a software that supports team interactions and dynamics including calendaring scheduling and video conferencing 
organization can use this technology to communicate, cooperate, coordinate and solve problems, compete and also negotiate. A good example of group where system is video conferencing. A set of interactive telecommunication technologies that allow two or more location to interact via two-way video and audio transmission simultaneously. Like now we have many types of group wear system. Examples like Skype, Google Meet and etc. And the advantages of using a group wear system, of course it is more faster, enable telecommunicating, can reduce the travel cost, sharing of expertise, forming a non face to face group, saving time and cost in coordinating group work and also can facilitating a group problem solving. With that we have end chapter 12 which is also the last chapter in our syllabus. So thank you very much.